of Brands MD by Terex to this impressive vid. It's titled Jay Z Pushing Meg the Stallion to Copy Beyonce. And Megan is clueless about Nikki Feud, Quan, and Erica. Okay, but let's see what's happening. Let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. I want to talk about this. Now, recently, Megan snagged a Pepsi deal. She did a Pepsi commercial. From this angle, you could definitely tell she didn't get her nose done because that's been like something that people have been speculating over. Like, she got her nose. Her nose looks so much smaller. I feel like in certain angles, certain lighting, people can look very different. So you can't just go based on that because this looks like her original nose that she's always had. Megan snags a Pepsi Especially deal. with makeup. She did a Pepsi commercial. And it was a gladiator themed video, which was very reminiscent of the commercial Beyonce did with oh, Britney Spears and Pink this? back in the day. Oh. So Megan did her oh, own word. We will rock you, just like Beyonce did with Britney and Pink. And oh, this is I so cute. It, I was like, okay, this commercial is pretty fire. I know I Gladiator 2 is coming in theater soon. So oh, really? this is kind of like a big promotional video for them. And on top of that, it's a Pepsi deal. So this is a real big look for Megan. Megan's management and team, Rock Nation, has been able to get her a lot of great opportunities, which is yeah. great for her career, right? But I have to say this, and I know some of y'all are going to be thinking, oh, here she go again. <laughs> She know, she know that people be on her head, myself included. Uh, but I love impressive. Okay, I think she's hilarious, and I, I really like the the video topics that she puts up. But you know, I'm gonna just call it how I see it. You put me, that's just what it is. Um, but I think it's it's such an odd comparison because Beyonce is a singer and Megan's a rapper. <laughs> so I mean, how much can she really copy Beyonce? And they look very different. They're just in two completely different lanes. So I don't think there's a lot of copying that can effectively take place. But let's hear what she has to say. She always got to criticize Megan. Why can't she just be happy for her? I know what y'all <laughs> going to say. And you're free to complain about it in the comment section. Period. I welcome it, okay? Yes. <laughs> I, I welcome feel like it. Megan is trying to emulate or capture the essence of a Beyonce. Essentially, she's trying to be like her. And I feel like Jay-Z and his Rock Nation partner, Desiree Perez, are trying to prop her up as the hip-hop Beyonce. They want to push her into that caliber. They want her to be their mini B. <laughs> and listen, I know that Megan Not is influenced by Beyonce. Beyonce is one of the most influential artists of all time. So naturally, you're going to see artists try to follow in her footsteps. I can think of people like, you know, Victoria Ooh. Monet, who follows in Beyonce's footsteps a lot. That was a tribute, and wasn't it? nothing is wrong with that, but it is a little interesting to me that Beyonce's husband and his business partner, Desiree, are setting Megan up to follow Beyonce's career moves. And I get it. She generates money. They're investing in her. And the more they elevate her, the more money she's going to bring them. But... I think it's a little interesting that Jay-Z is allowing his artists to copy his wife. Huh. I want to read into it, but I don't. So I'm just going to act illiterate. <laughs> but initially, I feel like Rock Nation wanted that, Megan uh. to be like another Nicki Minaj or a Cardi B in terms of popularity. But now they're like, okay, let's use this angle. Let's use the Beyonce angle. Let's position her as like the Beyonce of hip-hop. That's what I'm getting from their whole strategy. And to be honest, I don't know how I feel about that. I think Megan has her own unique style, her own sound. I loved her hair like I like this. how creative oh. she is with her visuals. She Meg. does do different things like incorporate anime into her brand. And also, she's kind of expanding her brand to the Asian market as well, which I think is very, very smart, very lucrative. So Megan absolutely has her own identity outside of Beyonce. So I don't really know how I feel about her trying to emulate her brand. But I think at this point, her team wants her to be associated with Beyonce. I think they want her to follow Beyonce's footsteps. They want her to be their own little mini rap Beyonce. And when I see her perform, she reminds me of Beyonce. In fact, this year she performed at the BET Awards and her performance reminded me of the performance that Beyonce did at the VMAs one year. It was like the exact same setup. And I was just like, wow, this is interesting, right? Also, she performed for the presidential hopeful Kamala Harris at her rally. And her performance was reminiscent of the performance that Beyonce gave for Hillary Clinton. In fact, she used some of the same dancers, 
the dancers were wearing similar mm. outfits, and I thought, <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, this evidence is, is a bit compelling. That's interesting. But I mean, I well. still, <laughs> I still feel like that's an odd, this is such an odd person to copy. I, the the hip hop Beyonce, like what? I just feel like that doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, you see her do but this maybe, gladiator commercial, which is clearly, clearly Beyonce inspired. And I'm just like, hmm. Maybe. That's also interesting as well. I mean, same label, I same ideas. They're like, she, hey, this work would be, let, let's try with, with Meg, another artist that we're trying to uplift. So, I mean, it's very possible. I'm not saying it isn't. Like, her husband and his business partner are trying to create another her. <laughs> now, we know that Megan could never replace Beyonce or be on her level, <sighs> but Megan is talented in her own right, and she is kind of moving up the ranks in hip hop. Like at this point, I think she has surpassed Cardi B. And it's obvious that her team is trying to get her to compete with and try to one up Nicki Minaj. I don't and to me, I, I do think this is kind of the underlining reason Y'all think why she surpassed Nicki and Cardi? Megan are beefing. You know, recently Megan did an interview with Billboard and she said she don't know what the issue is with Nicki. But to be honest, I think she knows what the Wait, issue what is. is the she don't know. I don't even know what could be reconciled because I just they don't know what the problem is. What the issue is with Nikki. But to be honest, I think she knows what the issue is. I think she's aware that her team has done some shady stuff behind the scenes to get under Nikki's skin. And I'm not gonna put the full blame on Megan for that because Nikki's beef know, is really with honestly. Rock Nation and Desiree. It really is. But also Another reason why I think there could be some issues is because I guess Nikki kind of felt used by Megan because when Megan was coming up, Nikki no stamped her. She gave industry. her that cosign and hopped on the Hot Girl Summer song. And Nikki didn't even charge for that feature. That's what a lot of people don't know. Nikki didn't charge for the verse, nor did she charge to make an appearance in the video. She just did it for free. But after that collaboration, you know, Megan started to distance herself and maybe it was her team who really stirred her in a different way. How do you know she distanced herself? All I know is that after this, she teamed up with Cardi to do WAP and, and, and Nikki seemed mad about that, which is like, girl, girl, <laughs> people are not just only going to work with you and never work with your op. Like Cardi is a huge artist. I would have took that opportunity too and work with her also. So it's business. But she did eventually collaborate with Nikki's nemesis, Cardi B, for WAP. And that, of course, probably created more tension. And also people forget that That's Nikki ridiculous. and Megan have been taking subliminal shots at each other for over two years now. So this beef didn't just come out of nowhere. But I think when Megan took a shot at Nikki in her song, Hiss, Excuse that's me. when we started to see that there was an issue. And Nikki did spiral out of control. And people were like, what is going on with her? But it was a buildup of a lot of things. But in my opinion, I think Rock Nation played a role in this feud. They're the chess players and they're using Megan as their pawn. Now, moving on, I saw a comment asking if I was going to talk about Halle <laughs> Bailey's latest single and Patreon, video. I meant to talk about it earlier, but I, I love it out last week. That's but since we're here, I want to talk about Halle's new song, Because I Love You. I love this song. I also <laughs> love this video. I love how in the beginning... Listen, she... one thing about Impressive, when it comes to Chloe and how she love, 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 everything, everything amazing, everything going, you know, hit number one on Billboard. <laughs> she loves everything when it comes to them. Every, every, everything. Themes so sweet and unassuming. You look at her like she's just a girl in love, but come to find out she is crazy she's obsessive she's jealous and it doesn't matter what her guy tries to do he can never escape her even if he tries to creep around with another girl okay. he's gonna always see hallie and i thought that was hilarious i love the theatrics and i thought it was also funny that hallie said this was based off of a true story so i think maybe she does get a little bit stalkerish when it comes to her boyfriend ddg so ddg better watch out how did you come up with the concept for the video? Well, I don't want to spill too much about it, but it is based off of my real life events. I feel like um, this whole period of my life, I'm in a new transitional phase of just... Okay, we're back. But 
But like I was saying before, this song is very near and dear to my heart. It's based off of true events. We already saw that And um, yeah, I hope that you guys like it. I do like the song. I do. Even if it makes Hallie look a little crazy, <laughs> I like it a lot. And I've liked a lot of the music that Hallie has released so Girl, far. not a lot. Everything. I'm really looking forward to her upcoming album, honestly. I think it's going to be really good. So I'm here for it. Now, yeah. I want to get into this topic. It's really sad, but the Atlanta yeah, rapper Rich Homie Kwan passed away at the age of 34 years old. Rich Homie Kwan is known for... My mouth like dropped when I opened my phone and saw this. And I, walk through. Like... I mean, he had quite a few big hits back in the day. And I do remember he a had a song with Mariah Carey called Thirsty. Oh my gosh, I wanted that song to be a single so bad. I love that song. But yeah, Rich Homie Kwan's passing is very sad. And it's really sad to see all these rappers just dying. I mean, either they die from violence or an overdose. I mean, it's just really, really, really unfortunate. And I do believe he passed away from an overdose. He did open up about his struggles with addiction. In fact, he was addicted to Molly and he Mm. used it like every day. But he claimed that he kicked his habit. However, it seemed like he was still struggling with his addiction. So I don't know. The situation is really sad. And I <coughs> send my condolences to his family. I know this has to be painful, especially for his mm-hmm. girlfriend, Amber Williams, because she actually discovered him dead on the couch. She took their son out to oh, school and she came back and she thought he was sleeping. Fun. But the whole time, you know, he was out. So that had to be really, really traumatic for her, for sure. Now, I hate to talk about this mess, but since we're here, the rapper Erica mm-hmm. Banks made it public that she was actually in a relationship with Rich Homie Kwan too. And some people are speculating that maybe she was his Girl. side chick. Well, this is not even speculation. The rapper Akbar B kind of put it out there that she was his sneaky link. So, yeah, she was no his side chick. Well, the rapper. Too fast. Every time somebody loses their life, here comes the sneaky link posting pics and videos. That man ain't even in the ground yet. Certain people keep you a secret for a reason. And sometimes you should stay a secret because here come all the unwanted hate. For Akbar B kind of put it out there that she was his sneaky I understand you might be hurt, but baby girl, delete those pics and videos out of respect for his family. You was a secret, and not saying what y'all shared was fake, but certain stuff should remain a secret, because here comes all the unwanted hate towards you that you didn't even know existed. Think before you do stuff, little one. Yeah, that's very tacky. So, yeah, she was a side chick, but this is what she said. All you wanted was to find happiness again. I always saw it in your face and heard it in your voice, but you had so much left to do. The album, the tour, your birthday. I'm just glad we were able to enjoy such peaceful and memorable moments while you were here, man. Such a sweetheart. Rest in paradise, Quan. And she posted some clips oh, of nice. her and Quan being affectionate with each other and FaceTiming each other. And she even shared this message that he sent her saying, confession, I like you for a minute. But who wants to get rejected? Then I saw you talking to an end, but in my head, you've been mine. None of them ends deserve you. So when she posted this, people were like, girl, why are you clout chasing yeah, off of this relationship? This is... Why are you posting him now? Why this just feels him? icky. And it's not to say that, you know, we need to pretend like anyone's an angel or anything, but it's just so bizarre. Like this man just passed away and your first thought is to expose that you was his side chick and have proof of that to hurt his current girlfriend even more like she's already going through it because he died and she found him on the couch like that is so traumatic and here come a bitch on the internet tomorrow yeah we was fucking and we was together here got the proof we got the videos that is so disgusting and like there's just no no consideration for the family and the people who are grieving him so yeah that's such a wild thing to do like who See, does that when he was alive well the truth of the matter is she kept him a secret because he was already in a relationship with another woman. So I do think it was tasteless for her to make that post. I understand that she people lost someone she cared about. Her. So she wasn't really thinking. You know, sometimes when people get emotional, they don't always think things through. But I do think it was a bit you tasteless for her doing. to post that, knowing it's that horrible. he was in a relationship. I'm just saying. But anyway, RIP to Rich Homie Kwan. Rest in peace, yeah, rest in peace. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about Yikes. People, people just do anything for cloud and attention. It, it, it kind of comes across like she's trying to get some type of clout off of, of this situation, which is so, that's even sicker. Like, he just passed, and you want to bring attention to yourself and make this about you and, and be like, yeah, well, I had him, and I was his side chick. That's nothing to even be bragging about. This is just gross. <laughs> just gross up and down. Um, obviously, it was wrong for him to be cheating and doing whatever he was doing, but he's no longer here. He's gone, okay? So... What's the point in even like airing this out to hurt his loved ones even further? I don't understand that, but sure. 
Uh, this Meg and Beyonce comparison. Y'all let me know if y'all think there's any <laughs> any uh, validity to this claim. I don't think it makes a lot of sense, but it might just come down to them, you know, basically working with Beyonce. Like, obviously, they are aware of what has occurred in her career and what has been successful. So they're probably like, okay, this was successful for Beyonce. So, yeah, let's let's have Megan go down the same path because it worked for B, so it'll work for her. Not necessarily like, oh, let's have her copy Beyonce's image and do everything like her. But it's like, this shit worked over here. <laughs> so, you know, we all, we got the, these same relationships with Pepsi or whatever the fuck. Or we, we can, you know, make this shit work for you, you know? So I think it might be more so that. But who knows? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.